Hello, this is day two, um, July 5th of my um, videos that I'm going to do. And uh, as I mentioned in the first one, I don't, I'm trying not to pre select like a topic or really do too much thinking about it because um, I just kind of want to go with the flow. I feel like it'll improve my speaking off the cuff <laughs> skills. Um, I might even do some of these live, ooh. Um, but for now, instead, I'm just showing you my crazy hair, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet. Um, so I'm going to do 100 days of these videos, and um, probably a lot of them I anticipate will involve sharing a lot of what I've been learning. Um, I have been listening to lots of like TED Talks lately, and... Um, other motivational speakers and empowerment speakers like um, Kyle Cease and um, Tony Robbins even and I don't know the names of some of the other oh Bo Eas Eason the football player um, that was a really good one I can post that below if you want I just I just listened to that one yesterday um, but it's just really motivational uh, yeah like actually let me pull up some of my notes that I took on that one because I um I I would just I just took a couple notes, nothing crazy. But um he was just saying things like um be the best. Like that was his first thing. Like be the best. Be the best. And he's like you already started off being the best. And I love this example that he gave or metaphor he gave. He's like, you know, out of however many, you know, sperms race to the egg, like you won. <laughs> you know how we know it's cuz we're here. And so you already were the best. You started off the best, <laughs> like right away. <laughs> and I kind of, like, it made me start thinking about how, yeah, like F yeah. I think it's so easy to get mired down in all the ways that we could be better or aren't doing our best. And um, yeah, I like that. Like we started off, we won, like we won. We're the, we're the one, like we're the sperm egg match. You know, we did that. <laughs> um, so I really like, I really like that one. And then um, he talked about being a predator and how we're all predators um, and to not hide from it, like embrace it. And I think that's a really interesting concept too because we are, I think the word predator, you know, has a connotation to it and a stigma. And at the same time, you know, we are uh, an ant, we're, we're animals, you know, and, and if you embrace your predator, it's almost, it kind of reminded me of like, some of the stuff that I've heard people talk about in terms of embracing your shadow side. Embracing, like, and not just embracing, but really loving. Like, learning how to love the parts of you that are the parts that you don't like or the parts that are, like, the other people, that you think other people won't like. Um, yeah, yeah, so just, like, being exactly who you are. Like, I love that Bo, Bo Eason was, like, drenched in sweat. He's, like, in a, he was, he was in, like, a nice, um, like button down shirt and he's on stage and he's doing and he's just like soaked in sweat and in sweat and uh you know a lot of us would be like i don't know okay i'm just gonna speak for myself but i'd be like eh, i don't want to be like you know i don't want to have like pit stains like sweating when i'm up in front of people and he's just like at one point he drew attention to it and he's like never trust a speaker that doesn't sweat on stage or something like that and i just love it because it's like embracing like all parts of you and um and let other people take it or leave it. I just thought that was kind of a good, like, I don't know, it was a good message. And um, and that leads into another point that I written, had written down is um, he was talking about how people believe your body. Um, that's why it's like, it's easy for me to, I could just write in my blog. My blog is um, Thoughtful Backlash, if you want to check it out, thoughtfulbacklash.com. Uh, I'll put that down below too. But um you know, I can write in that all day, but, um, he was saying something like people only believe like half of what you say, um, but they'll, they believe like everything that they see, like they'll believe your body. Like, don't hide your bodies. Like for example, don't stand behind a podium when you speak and everything. Um, uh, which is kind of why I want to go live with these. Cause I want you to know that they're like not edited. Like I don't even know how to edit videos. I would, I would like to be able to do some <laughs> simple video editing, not for these, but for something else. But, um, and who has the time? I don't have the time to do that. Um, but anyway, so I just thought that was interesting. And, um, 
the two other thoughts that he brought up that I um, I want to sit with a little bit, like meditate on and maybe maybe write a blog post about. Um, he said, "What occupations right now? Like, what are what's an occupation right now that you can't look away from? Um, like, you just can't dis- you can't dismiss it." So I'm trying to like really hone into my true self, my authentic self, and think about what is. Because I have so many different interests and my interests are scattered and they've always changed and evolved and I get really, I'm like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. I get really interested in one thing and then I, and then I, um, I'll see it through usually or I'll see it through as far as I, you know, want to depending on what it is. I know I'm talking really vaguely, but, but I just get really interested in new things all the time. Uh, so I think in my last video I even talked about how I was going to do a 30 day, I think I said 30 day, yeah, like 30 day new um, habit video, like not video, I'm sorry, but just try to do, stick to something for 30 days, do it every day, um, so that I can get better at it. So I can develop a new skill. Like one of the things I want to do is I want to learn Spanish. And so, um, but I still haven't started that. I'm like, Ooh, but then there's this other thing that's exciting. Like, Ooh, and then there's this video thing I'm doing and I tend to get overloaded and I know that, but, um, but yeah, but thinking about what occupation I can't take my eyes off of, you know, and I think that I love the idea of that really focusing and honing in on something that I'm passionate about. Like I really love life coaching because I get to really connect with one-on-one with people and dive into their lives like 150% um, without distraction. And I love that. Um, I also don't know if I, if I, you know, want to do that full time or do that the rest of my life. And I know I don't have to have those figured out, but those are the things that like then, you know, the fear comes up or they, they, uh, my brain gets in the way, my ego gets in the way of making, take, making me take those first steps. So, um, so that's what I need to like ruminate on and maybe in another 50 videos or something, I'll have more thoughts on that. Um, or maybe y'all all all notice a theme and you could point it out to me. (laughs) Um, and then the last thing that I've written down that I really liked from his speech was, um, he said, turn the dial all the way up and then you see who you end up being. Um, and I just like that, like turn, I was like thinking about turning my dial all the way up. Like I, that's why I'm doing these videos because this is scary for me. And, um, but I want to start getting out there and putting myself out there and sharing my thoughts with the world. And I could sit here talking and talk about writing the book that I'm going to write one day, but screw it. I might as well start now with these videos. So turn the dial all the way up and knowing your story, like who am I? Who is my story? Um, my best self wants to remove, you know, stories that I'm attached to that prevent me from doing what I want to do and, um, fear based living and ego driven, um, decision making and being like, I want to, the person, the the best person that I want to be is like, is a loving person of all things, um, on such a deep level that even I don't understand it. You know, I don't want to understand it. Like, I just want to love and I want to be able to see the best part of every person in front of me, no matter what their situation or what their viewpoints are. Um, and he talks about knowing your story and then physicalizing that story. Um, like turn, turn into the predator and he's like, and eliminate those who stand in your way. And when he said that, I was thinking about how, like, you know, if you if, if, if you, if I want to be a more positive person that I need to eliminate people who bring negativity into my life. Like that was an example that I thought of, um, in terms of eliminating the people who stand in your way, the people that don't support you moving forward. Like I mentioned in my last video, how I'm going through, um, divorce and it's really interesting how stigmatized divorce is. And that's really, really was shocking to me. I learned very quickly, you know, which of my friends and family supported me through that. Um, And especially when I had this expectation of some of them, um, on what their response would be. And it was very different than what I expected. And it's been a really great learning process for me to, to, um, to think about that. And then to know that, like, to trust my own self, to trust my inner compass and to know that if they're not part of my new story, which is, um, being free from a slightly oppressive marriage, then, then they they shouldn't be in my life, you know, and, and finding people who I do want to surround myself with and do want in my life, um, is my new quest, which is, um, 
part of why I think I also wanted to move. Um, I moved from California to Montana recently. So uh, anyway, so those are some of the things that I got from Bo Eason. And I um, I think it's his last name. I could be getting that wrong. I'm not a sports fanatic. Um, those of you that are can totally vote thumbs down. But anyway, um, but yeah, so I think that's all for the video today. I'm going to try to keep these fairly short. I know I wouldn't want to watch me for that long. Well, I wouldn't want to watch anybody for that long. Um, but I'll post some of those links below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching day two. Bye.